Hey Foxies, my name is Simon Fox. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and if you're returning, welcome back. Like always, this is never about subscribers nor about money, but about love and life. So with that being said, we're going to be playing with the James Charles palette today. Um, I'm not sure what to call this look, so if y'all have any ideas, please make sure to leave it down in the comments. And yeah, so to get straight into the look, let's get straight into it. So first, going to be starting off with my Jeffree Star Concealer as a base. Y'all already know, I don't even need to talk about this. I do it all the time. And then just gonna be setting it with the white from any palette you have. I used the one from the Blood Sugar palette, but that's not the palette we're playing with today. Today we're playing with the Jeffree Star, I mean, sorry, James Charles palette, so just keep that in mind. And here just gonna be setting it, patting it, y'all already know. So first starting off with that black shade in the James Charles palette. I don't know the names for him. I wish he would have put the names on the palette, but it was on a clear sheet over the palette and I didn't even think to keep it. But um, yeah, basically I just used that black and I'm just gonna be using a flat brush and just gonna be patting that where I want it, packing it where I want it first. And then we'll go into blending and all that good stuff. So now taking that light green shade from the James Charles palette and just going to be blending that or using that to blend out that black shade that I put but only in the inner portion of my eye because on the outer portion I use a different color so yeah don't take it all the way in take it halfway and then uh, we'll switch to the other shade making sure that those edges are really blended and that those shades blend together very nice not too blended because you don't want to blend them to where they don't have the same shades um but just enough to where there's transition so just keep that in mind So now I'm just going to be taking that light blue from the James Charles palette and then just going to be using that on the outer portion of my eye now. So just going to be taking that halfway in and blending that in or blending the black out with that light blue. Same thing goes for this one, making sure that they transition very well, that they don't over or out blend each other and they're still transitioning between those colors. So here just going to be going back in with the black and then just going to be using an even more dense precise brush and going to be blending those edges out even further so that way those, those colors transition even better. I like to go back and forth with the shades so that way I make sure to get the transition that I want. You can do it as much as you want.
So now to blend out those shades even further, now I'm going to be taking a yellow and actually going to be using this on to blend out that green and blend out that blue on the outer edges. So basically on both of those shades, going to be using that yellow to blend those out, make sure they transition very well, and I was obsessed with this. This was so cute. By the way, you guys, just because I have some time in between my clips and I'm just going to be blending from here on uh, for a while, I just want to say that I hope that everybody's staying safe during this quarantine time. Uh, I want to say that I love y'all and just stay at home. Don't go out. Don't even risk anything because your life is more important than going out and having fun for a day. We will have our time. We will have that time and it will come around so for now just try to focus on self-love just doing stuff for yourself at home self-improvement if you want to call it self-care um so yeah just stay focused on things like that keep yourself busy at home if you're home um if you're working make sure to stay safe out there wear your mask your gloves all that good stuff because this virus is spreading faster than any virus I've seen to be honest and um it's just crazy so yeah y'all stay safe and stay clean wash your hands what if I told you I couldn't stay take me or leave me you can still walk away what if I told you this love won't be So now I'm just going to be pre-cutting or cleaning up that cut crease where I would normally put it um, with a Q-tip. Y'all can use a Q-tip um, with some water or some type of makeup remover. I like to use water. I feel like it works the best for me. Um, but yeah. And then here I'm just going to go on top of that with the Jeffree Star Concealer. Cut that crease. Make it look hella flawless. And then we're going to go in with a glitter shade, a pigment whatever which one you want to use um i'll show y'all which one i use in a little bit it's gorgeous So now I'm just going to be taking this purple shade, this gorgeous purple shade. I honestly love this shade so much. This shade reminds me of the one that's in the mini breaker um, in the Jeffree Star palette. If y'all know which one I'm talking about, I'm obsessed with that shade as well. Like, they're just like this purple with like a blue sheen to it. I don't know. It's gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it and it looks so gorgeous on the eye. Now I'm just going to be taking my eyeliner. I'm using the eyeliner by, I believe, it's Maybelline. Let me check. Yes, it's the Maybelline Tattoo Studio in the shade black. Yeah, black. <laughs> Anyways, so now I'm going in with that dark purple shade in the James Charles palette. I'm gonna be using that for some under eye shadow. I'm gonna be stamping that right under my eye. And then we're gonna be blending that with blending it out with another shade. We'll get to that. For now, we're just gonna be using this really defined brush and just gonna be going right under my eye, making sure to stamp that right under my eye and blend it out, diffuse it a little bit so 
So now I'm just going to be taking that light blue shade and just going to be blending out that purple under eye shadow further, making sure that they transition very well and that that under eye shadow looks just as snatched. So here taking the Brain Freeze palette by Jeffree Star, I'm going to be using the shade Gold Breaker and I love this highlighting palette so freaking much. The Gold Breaker is literally my favorite highlighter ever, it's blinding, it's sickening and I can't wait to see more of Jeffree Star's highlighters come out because those are ones that I'm definitely going to get. I'm, I'm just obsessed with how bright and how soft they look on the skin, it's gorgeous. Um, I'm taking that everywhere I would normally highlight, but I'm also taking that in the inner corner of my eye because I really wanted it to brighten up my inner corner and it literally just does that. Alright Foxy, so this is the finished look on the James Charles palette tutorial. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I had so much fun making it. I really didn't know what kind of look I was going for. I haven't really had any straight ideas of what kind of looks I was going for. I just kind of go with them and then play around with colors. So that's what I decided to do and I hope that y'all like the outcome. If y'all recreated, please make sure to tag me or DM me. I would love to see it and repost it on my Instagram. And until next time, I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all Wednesday or Saturday. Bye, Foxy.